Hello everybody, it's a beautiful day again this morning and yeah, we have got a couple of things that we need to do today. So first of all, uh, we need to work on our little shop truck, Chevy El Camino. So we did get some parts in for it and I have to swap those out. So in the last episode we found that these uh, parts are a little bit worn, the shock absorber and the upper control arm. As well as our starter motor needs to be replaced, so we went ahead and ordered those parts. And then also Uncle Richie said that we can fit these wheels to the shop truck because he actually ordered brand new ones for his Mercedes. So once our shop truck is up and running, we can head over to the shop and pick those wheels up for him. As well as a sandblaster because we've got a customer out here that has got its, uh, yeah, it's a chad with quite a bit of rust. So instead of using the angle grinder, we are going to attempt using the sandblaster on these panels and try and get rid of this rust. So yeah, this is going to be quite a bit of a job for us. But fortunately, it pays very well which also reminds me I still need to pick up my money for the last jobs I did and you know, Uncle Richie also paid me for going to pick up his car yesterday so I've got another $500 to add to my wallet which brings me to a total of $1560 so that is the amount of money that I have now of my own money so yeah we are going to dive into this thing and get it sorted out so the parts have already arrived they are in the next room here as usual and Uncle Richie says once we get a chance we should buy some shelves to put in this place so that we can start packing the parts neatly in here uh, we might even end up moving these shelves into that little room over there and yeah, you know, just get a little bit better organization going in the shop Right, so let me just grab all these parts. I can probably just stick them in my backpack for the moment. And just carry them all over here. Right, so let's get to replacing these parts. And I think also the El Camino will drive a lot better with these new tires. Because these tires are actually in very good condition. And the old ones, yeah, they, they are a little bit worn. So... We'll keep these around. I'll just put them on a stack over here on the side. Don't know exactly what he wants to do with them yet, but I was thinking I might actually need some wheels for the Chevelle if I end up buying it. So yeah, we are so close to having the money ready for that car. I still, every day I hope it's still there. So yeah, let's uh, start putting these parts on the Alcamino. And then we need to go over and see if we can pick up Uncle Richie's new wheels for his car. Alright, a brand new shock absorber. Alright, let's see if we can get this starter taken off here. Mm, might have to bring it down. just get this cable off and there we go right so let's put our new starter motor in right I believe we should be able to mount this wheel right so this is going to give our truck a little bit of a different look as well Oh, these wheels are actually very nice. The Mopar wheels have gone in good condition. Alright, let's bolt this down. And let's move over to this side. I still have the old radiator hoses in the back. I haven't taken them out yet. Alright, so let's zip these down. Alright. It looks like we do have a worn hub on this side, but that's okay, we'll see if it gets any worse. 
will replace that eventually as well. But for the moment, I think just replacing some worn parts already will make it a little bit better. And I still want to see if I can get that dent knocked out a bit. So that will require me banging it with the sledgehammer. So let's just tidy up the shop quickly and get this thing off the lift. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so let me just move this over to the old parts room here at the back. I should also probably get a shelf or two for this room. Alright, so there's all the used parts we still have. Alright, let's see if we can knock out some of these dents with the sledgehammer at least. It's not going to be ideal, but we we'll probably have to replace the panel eventually. Alright, let me just go ahead and grab these as well. Alright, let's just put them in the room as well over here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it back slightly. So now I want to grab that sledgehammer to see if we can knock this quarter panel back a little bit. I might need a small hammer as well. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this as well. And let's see if we can get this thing back into shape. Alright, so yeah, this panel needs to be banged. And this bumper also needs to be banged a little bit. Well, let's see if we can get this thing back into shape. I don't think it's going to be perfect, really. Well, that does look a bit better, at least. Should probably also try and see if we can find ourselves a used tailgate. But I think that is a little bit of an improvement to what it was, so I'm quite happy with that. Might actually be able to mount a taillight to it now. Alright, so yeah, we're going to embark on a little bit of a journey to the store. See if we can pick up our sandblaster and the four wheels and tires for Uncle Richard's Mercedes over there. Alright, so tell me a little bit how's everybody doing. Uh, drop some comments down below if you are enjoying my roleplay series. And yeah, also remember if you have got any suggestions, I will definitely like to hear what you guys think. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think I can bring to the role play season. I will definitely try and incorporate it. Alright, so yeah, our truck seems to be driving a little bit smoother now. So we are going to embark on this journey. Alright, so yeah, she is driving like a dream now. So the old Chevelle is still standing here. So it's, it's almost as if that car is just waiting for us to get the money together at this stage. So that will definitely be a very nice first car for me.
Alright, so we are basically here at the shop now and we are about to pull up and yeah, see if Uncle Richard's wheels are ready. I think they should be in the back room because he did have them chromed as well. So yeah, let's go and see what this guy has to say today. He always got some very good information for us. Usually he's got a story to tell us, so yeah, let's see what he says today. Uh, did you notice your socks aren't matching? Uh, maybe. Well, I stay in a garage, so what do you think? Oh, I see you've got the sand blaster ready for us over here. Uh, is this thing full of sand? I hope so. So, yeah, that looks quite full. Alright, well, let's load this up onto the truck. Okay. Alright, and you say my uncle's wheels are at the back? Alright. Oh, there they are. Uh, okay, so... Looks like he ordered some license plates as well. Personalized license plates. Okay, well, uh, I think let me pop these in my backpack rather. I don't want them blowing off the back of the El Camino. So yeah, these wheels would have been nice on the El Camino though. But look at this. 17 inch. I'm gonna try and see if I can load them all four. I don't wanna scratch anything. Because these look like they are quite expensive. Alright, so yeah, carefully, carefully. Let's just load them onto the truck. Yeah, maybe drop me a comment down below if the El Camino is considered a truck, because yeah, I don't know if it's something like a, a ute rather, but ute sounds like it's more an Australian thing, in my opinion. Or maybe a UK thing, so I don't know. So drop some comments down below if I'm right in calling it a truck, or is it just a, a ute? But yeah, we'll, we'll continue call it, calling it a, a shop truck, because it's, uh, it's got a bed. So yeah, let's call it a truck for now. So do correct me if I'm wrong. Alright, so those are the four wheels and the sand blaster we are going to need for that rust repair job. So yeah, let's see if we can make our way back to the shop and yeah, I've decided to call it shop, just the shop for the moment. So that is what it is. And hopefully those wheels don't decide to go anywhere as well as our sand blaster. down there all right so yeah we are going to make our way back to the shop and hopefully we'll get there safely without any trouble all right so here we go
Okay, so yeah, we are back in town. Just past the pizza place. And well, so far it looks as if everything is still fine in the back. And we didn't lose anything. Alright, so yeah, let's uh, pull into the shop. I think we should pull that car inside the shop as well. Start working on it. And I think Uncle Richie's wheels can probably wait. I just want to take out his license plates from my backpack as well. Before I forget. So I'm just going to go and set them on the table over here. Chromed license plates. Where in the world? Alright, well. So I think this thing also needs a bit of a body kit if it's going to have those wheels on it. But we'll see. Alright, so these wheels, I'm just going to put them over here for now by the car. So we'll see if we can get these mounted for him. I'm sure you will agree that the customer's vehicle is a little bit more important at this stage. So yeah, yeah. I think those wheels are gonna fit very nicely on this uh, wagon. Alright, let's get our sandblaster. This thing is quite heavy. I don't know if we've got enough sand in this. I should have actually asked the guy for more bags, but we'll see how far we get. Uh, if we can just at least do the hard to reach places with the sandblaster, that'll be good. Alright, let's move this thing into the shop. Uh, I must just be careful not to sandblast the Mercedes in front of it. Because that will not be a very good thing to happen. Alright, so we've got rust on this door. We've got rust here. Uh, a little bit of rust over there, we've got some rust on this quarter panel here uh, over there and this rocker panel a little bit so hopefully we can get all the rust off this thing I don't see any rust under here so we should be okay alright so well let's get to blasting I think we're gonna start over on this quarter panel Uh, wait a second, let me take that rear bumper off rather. I don't want to blast on the chrome unnecessarily. Did I spot some rust down there now? No, that's all. Yeah, it looks okay. Alright. Uh, where's the bolts to this? I think it's probably inside the trunk. Oh, there it is. One there and one there. Uh, come on. There we go. Alright. Let's just set it down here for now. We'll leave the wrench over there. Alright, so we do have some rust over here. Open the door and take off that door card as well so that we can see if there's a rust beneath this as well. Those automatic doors they seem to pick me up all the way over here. And so we've got a bit of rust over here. Let's just blast that rust away. Oh, okay. This thing does a very good job. Okay, see we do have a little bit of rust up here as well. So let's just catch that. Shoot. Okay. A little bit down here. And now, let's rock it. 
panel. Alright, so there we have it. I wonder if all the rust is uh, basically gone now. Let's quickly have a look and see over here. Alright, so looks like we have the rust. Now I need to check the paint code, the color code on this. So it's 3F1E3E. Alright, 3F1E3E. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get some paint. Uh, yeah, I might have to have it ordered, so it's going to be interesting. I wonder how long they're going to take to mix the paint for us, so let's maybe head over there and ask them about that paint. Maybe they have it in stock, maybe they don't, so I don't know. Alright, so let's maybe make our way over to the shop and see if this guy can help us out with some paint. It's not a very long drive, so... Okay, let's make a U-turn over here. Welcome. How can I help you? Yeah, I need some paint paint mixed uh, ASAP brother. Can I give you a color code? Alright. Well, let's see. Two hours later. Alright, that's perfect. Thank you very much. I do appreciate your help. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna grab this and just pop it in my backpack. Alright, thanks bud. That was a very good service. Hmm, I wonder what that guy is doing over there. He's just chilling there. Alright, let's get back to the shop. I actually think I can take this way to the shop next time. Alright, so yeah, let's pull up here. Luckily we have got our paint mixed quickly. Let's just uh, see what we have. Four cans. I hope this is going to be enough. Alright, hopefully this color matches. I really hope it does. Yeah, well, he mixed it pretty well. sure to get all the nooks and crannies. Yeah, I must say the sand blaster is really doing a very good job. It's definitely a tool I would recommend for any body shop. Or any workshop for that matter. Alright, so we are out of paint. We can probably just put the empty in the back of the truck for now. Yeah, I think I ordered too much paint. But that's okay. We'll have some touch up paint for whenever we get a really rusty car. And just paint it up with this. Right, so just check on our paint condition. Yeah, it looks okay. Alright, so these we can go and pop on the shelf over there. Let's get our rear bumper fitted back. And also our door card. The client's door card. Ok, 
Okay, I believe that is job done. All right, let's uh, go and tell the customer that his car is ready, ready for collection. Mm, I'll just carry the wrench with me for now. All right, so there you go, sir. Perfect, job done. And we have got ourselves a very nice tool in the shop now. Alright, so I do need to fit those wheels to Uncle Richie's car. And I should probably also mount his uh, number plates for him. I'm just trying to see where is going to be the best spot. I think we'll just put it down here for now. Alright, let me pick up these paint cans. And we'll go and organize them on the shelf over here. This will be fine. I don't know which one is the half now, but yeah, it doesn't really matter because we don't own a car in this color. All right, so let's quickly get these wheels fitted to Uncle Richie's car and also his number plates. I'm sure he will appreciate that very much. Yeah, it doesn't look like he needs any spaces. Don't forget that star pattern. Well, sort of. I'm kind of doing it. The star pattern is there, 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 and over there. Alright, so that is tightened up. Let's get the screwdriver. Let's put on these personalized chrome plates. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what he wants to do with these old plates. Okay, so let's get this mounted. Yeah, that is looking flashy, I must admit. Can I grab this damn thing? Okay, so yeah, looks like Uncle Rich is gonna have a number plate in the back of his trunk for a bit. See if we can get this one fitted. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that one's a little bit stuck in the carpet, but that's fine. I'm sure we'll get it next time. But this looks very good actually. This wheels definitely suit the car. So I wonder what his next uh, thing is he want to do to this. I guess we'll see. Because he already has the tinted windows. Unless if he wants to have the tint removed. But I don't know, it actually looks pretty good. So let's see if we can get this thing pulled out for him. Alright, wait for the glow plugs. Yeah, that is looking very nice. Not too bad for a 280,000 kilometer, yeah, or well, car in general, because the mileage is quite high, but it, as I said, it's not bad for a vehicle of this age. Yeah, that not license plate is a little bit stuck. I think we'll probably have to put the other one in there for him as well. But yeah, I think that is about all that we have time for for this episode, so 
thank you very much for watching i do appreciate every view and every like and also remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i will appreciate it very much and also remember to drop some comments down below if you have any suggestions for me on what i can do further in the series although yeah it will be interesting to see how i can incorporate that so yeah but until the next time cheerio